So today I'm making this video to talk about the Logitech G13. Uh, it is a custom keyboard that has 22 fully programmable keys uh, to record keystrokes and macros on. Um, also it has onboard memory to save your, uh, your custom profiles so you can move it to different computers and it will keep the same uh, memory for the keys. Uh, the keys are backlit and they do change color um, on the specific macros that you're using. Uh, there is a built-in LCD display for system info. And lastly, it has pretty good ergonomics, so when you put your key put your hand up here, uh, it's a very comfortable fit. So now I'm going to explain to you the benefits of using this and why uh, a photographer should use this with uh, use for Lightroom and Photoshop. So why am I showing you this today? The, the reason that I'm showing you the, the Logitech G13 is to show you the speed and the time that it will save you in Lightroom while editing these photos. Normally, some people just go ahead and use just, just a mouse. Um, and so what they would do is when they see a photo like this, they would have to take their mouse and go over and click and then move the exposure to the level that they want it to have and then they would release and then click and move the, the white balance and then move the fill light maybe and then dial in the blacks a little bit and each time you are taking your eyes away from the main image and placing it over to your right tool palette where all of your sliders are whereas with the Logitech G13 you're able to program all of the buttons to specifically how you want it to be and so then when you're looking at this image, you can say, I need to dial in the fill light just a little bit to bring in uh, some detail in the blacks. And then you would just press the keys versus taking your eyes off the image, moving it to a slider, moving your eyes back, and then adjusting that slider. And so normally it would take maybe three seconds to edit a photo, maybe five seconds to edit a photo on the Logitech G13, whereas if I was using a mouse, it would maybe take about 10 to 15 seconds. Now, you, uh, you multiply that over 700, maybe 1,000 photos from a wedding or a big photo shoot or something like that, that is a lot of time that you'd be able to save by using the Logitech G13 versus just a mouse. One thing that's very nice about the Logitech G13 software is that it can have its own profiles for each program that, um, that you use. So for instance, you can have a Macro 1, Macro 2, Macro 3 for Photoshop and completely separate keys for Bridge or for Lightroom or InDesign. Really any program that you use, you can use this, uh, this keyboard with. So if I switch from Lightroom to Photoshop, it will go to the Photoshop activated profile and for instance if I switch to bridge it will automatically switch to bridge and then if I switch back to Lightroom it will switch back to Lightroom so you can have your own custom profile keys for each program that you use so to record which key you want to do what command you would go down here into the bottom corner and then right click on the G icon and click open and then that would pull open this uh, Logitech gaming software is what it's called and in this program you can customize what you want your LCD to uh, to be um, you can also go ahead and uh, program the keys in this menu so you just click on the keys and then up here let me change the camera a little bit up here you'll see that there is the um, these different icons like Bridge and Photoshop and Lightroom and InDesign. So you can create new profiles by going here and then creating a new profile. And then you can also do Game Executable, which means that when that specific piece of software is open, the G13 will switch to that um, profile that's made for that uh, game or program. So this is where you would go select where your... Um, 
your Photoshop uh, would be executed from, uh, your Lightroom, InDesign, everything like that. And so then once you have that, uh, then you can go here on the left hand side, press this little icon, and make a name. So for instance with Photoshop, if I wanted to make a clone tool, I would just write clone tool, and then you would go to keystroke, and then you would hit the keystroke that that specific clone tool would be, for instance, S. Okay, and then we would click OK, and then we would then go find that specific one that we just made, and unfortunately I already have one here, uh, and then we would click and drag to the specific button that we wanted that one to be under, and so then we just release. And so then you can see right here, those are all the specific functions that I have for Photoshop. And for my Lightroom, here's all the other ones. So exposure plus, exposure minus, blacks. And then another thing that we can do um, is with Lightroom, um, in combination with Patty software, you can specifically set a like shift with that specific button would lower blacks, uh, or just pressing the button would raise blacks. So that's why the G13 and Patty work very well together. With the G13, you can use a program called Paddy, P-A-D-D-Y, P -A -D -D -Y, uh, and that works with Lightroom. And basically what Paddy does is you can set uh, key functions to specific sliders or actions that you would use in Lightroom. Um, so once you install Paddy, then you would go to File, and then Plugin Extras, and then to Assign. Okay, and then we can either assign something to the mouse, to MIDI, or the keyboard. So right now we're going to press keyboard. And so then that will pop up into this. Now, um, we have our keyboard here and all of the functions that we can program on the right hand side. Uh, so for instance, um, to move a specific slider, we would go press over here, like exposure, we would then go here, and then there's three adjustment levels that it can be uh, adjusted at, a small increment, a medium increment, or a large increment. So we're going to go ahead and click medium, and then over here on the right, then we have our entire list of all of the things that we can adjust. So from temperature, tint, exposure, there literally every slider that is in Lightroom is, be able, to, is able to be adjusted with Patty. Now, the way that I use the G13 and Patty together is I use the function keys. These are keys that are not programmed in Lightroom to do anything. So we are able to then use these keys to do our specific functions. And then with the G13, I would map a specific key to a function keystroke. Now, so for instance, F2, I have as exposure plus, um, and then I would have F3 as exposure minus. And so then you also see shift F3. Well, this really gets cool because then you can not only just press the F3, but then you could do a shift F3 or a control F3. All those different types of keystrokes and combinations that you can do, you can program as different things. So for instance, with exposure, if you just hit F3, uh, that would move um, a medium amount of, uh, of increment down in exposure. But if you hit shift F3, it would move in a larger increment. Um, so I use those and program these F3 functions with Patty, and then I use the G13 gaming software to program, for instance, G11 key to do a F3 keystroke. And then also you can program a shift button on the G13 to handle the shift, so then you would press shift and G11 to get your shift F3. Another nice thing about the Logitech G13 is the display panel. It's an LCD display. It does change colors along with the keys when you change to your different modes. Um, now, this can, you can program the LCD to display a couple different things. Um, standard things that come with it is a LCD clock, which I'll show you guys here. Um, 
and it will kind of pop up right here. So you have a little bit of a clock. It also has a countdown timer um, or a stopwatch. So you can press this button and so you can have a stopwatch going. Uh, you can pause it, you can restart it. You can also have a countdown timer go. Um, now some other things that it in can include is an RSS feeder. Uh, there's a POP3. Uh, it will work with uh, um, any of your media players, for instance iTunes uh, or a Windows Media Player. Um, and another thing that it functions with is Everest Ultimate Edition, which is uh, a great program to be able to show the stats um, and current temperatures of your computer. So for instance, you can see my, that my CPU is at 1%, it's at 39 degrees Celsius. Uh, you can see uh, I've set it up to show uh, how much memory I have left on my, uh, that, that's free. Uh, it also shows the temperature of my uh, video card uh, along with the fan RPMs and also the motherboard temperature as well. So the nice thing is this is fully customizable within Everest so we can press this button and it will switch to uh, the percentages on all four of my CPUs and then you can also have another one that will maybe show the date on the CPU percentage and your memory percentage and maybe the time. So all four of these are programmable within Everest but that's a separate program from this. Um, so it also comes with a uh, performance monitor that will show you the CPU and the memory usage uh, within uh, the Logitech G13. So that's been my review of the Logitech G13, and I, uh, I love it for my use in Lightroom and Photoshop, being able to uh, record all of the custom functions into the keyboard and being able to just work with everything on the fly. Um, I hope you enjoyed my review, and uh, if you have any questions, feel free to give me, a, give me an email or post a comment.